Hello everyone, I am Dickman, and this is They Hulk. Hello. And we invite you to join us on our adventures into the minds of some of the internet's biggest weirdos. Shall we crack on with uh, right. this one? This one, now, for this one, I think this one's going to be a bit different. It's, a, it's on the same lines as uh, the other ones we've been doing. The uh, Oh, by the way, the last episode we did, uh, the, the Be Your Own Wingman, uh, thing which you know which is we all know which was uh, you know your acting debut I think you did very well um as, uh, oh, as the, what do you mean as my as my vic as the as the um sorry the obstacle and, uh, <laughs> oh that's right I forgot we did like a you like played two you played two you played two characters it was uh, oh know, that's it, right <laughs> uh, but the last you know but, but, but drama in, club in that um in that, in <laughs> that, <laughs> you might you might remember in that he mentioned a couple of other people Ooh. like like it, one of them was called in well it was called Intense but it was in I O S E I thought it was called <laughs> and and the and these other geezers who like and I found <coughs> I found I found like you know po- um, uh, documents on on uh, scribed for and I'm like well if they're recommended by this geezer who did if they're recommended by the be your own wingman guy then we've got to go through them at some point but uh the these ones this one is a bit different this is not this is the same this is along the same lines it's a it's it's a sexual advice i can't really call it a book it technically it's an e-book it's but it's only about 24 pages long um but it's written by a guy called tom guard with a a g-a-r-d and i can't i can't i can't find out too much about him but uh he's a christian and he wrote this book for like uh, Christian couples, and it's called Straight Sex: Your Complete Guide. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a you deserve, and and this is a phrase. You, yes, remember this phrase because it, I'm going to say it about fourteen dozen times in the over the course of reading this. It's like you deserve a fulfilling, refreshing, rewarding, and healthy straight sex life. That's how it's supposed to be. Now I don't know anything about um, about Tom <laughs> Guard, but what I can tell you. Is uh, he? He's only ever written two other books. Uh, one of which is called Pendulum Dowsing, Your Complete oh. Guide, um, uh, uh, which so is quite an incel witch. No, an or incel. A well, no, but, witch. Da- yeah, but dowsing ain't witchcraft, is it? Dowsing is just statistical odds in it because dowsing is I where mean, you that's find a lot of what uh, a lot of divination is. Yeah, but I mean, div- div- those like dowsing rods. I mean, like you know, you are ninety five percent of uh, like you, 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 there's like a ninety five percent chance of wherever you stand, there is water within <laughs> a few feet of it. Literally, that's what it is. So that's why divi- people think divining rods work because th- there's like only like the Atacana Desert somewhere uh, you know in 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 South America that is the only place and and you know. <clears throat> uh, so a few other places, maybe Arizona, but like the rest of it, you like if you dig, if you dig like a foot down, there's fucking water anywhere you go. Oh, and the other dog, he, the other book he's got is the Labrador Dog: A Complete Owner's Guide. Um, <laughs> this guy's a jack of all. He's, he's, he is, isn't he? I mean, sex, dowsing, and I mean, sex is kind of like you know, divining dowsing rods, isn't it? I mean, it's a, it's like it's like <laughs> you've got this thing which is just. Wobbling dogs all over the place. Dogs and dick wedding. Yeah, do- dogs, dogs, do- yeah, dogs, pendulums, and dogs. <laughs> right, and uh, uh, he and he's good. Uh, this was written in 2017. Um, this could have easily been written in 1720. Um, uh, so uh, here we go. Uh, chapter. He starts <clears throat> off right away, and it, and already. I mean, first of all, I should make it to be clear. There's a spelling mistake on page one <laughs> before he, before he even starts because the book's called Straight Sex: Your Complete Guide, and on on the opening page it says Straight Sex: You Complete Guide. <laughs> now, which which sounds like a weird insult, but um, you it, complete and, and guide. You complete. <laughs> it's a, it's a, what a scout. You would absolute. Them. Fucking guy. You fucking guy. You you <laughs> rage. You raging guide. That's what a that's what Flaming that's what guide. That's what, that's what one Boy Scout calls another one. Like it's like calls him like a he's like you big guide. And um, that's great. we need that's another t shirt. So you've already got another t shirt for this episode. You you massive guide. And, um, 
<laughs> anyway, and then he fucks up on the next page because the next page it's chapter one colon introduction. Now, in, in the introduction, <laughs> you can't have chapter one and the introduction together. Like, yeah, the I think introduction's it, supposed to come before that, right? Yeah, yes, that's why it's called the introduction because that's it's cool. you're supposed <laughs> to have you're supposed to have the preface, then the introduction, and then anyway. I'll do the I'll do chapter. So I, I will have to do the introduction. Thank you for sampling or actually purchasing and downloading my ebook. I have done neither. Um, <laughs> for the avoidance of any doubt, this ebook is all about straight sex (parentheses vaginal sex) <laughs> um, and does not touch on any other form of sex. I think you, you okay. could have fra- could have phrased that a bit. Um, better. Um, it is my strong belief that straight <clears throat> sex is the right form of sex that my creator and yours as well intended when he created you and I. I don't think God should have given us extra holes because he should have known men are going to get bored. And, you know, I mean, if you want, make, no, I mean, he could have come up with something else to. Um... <laughs> like ducks. Yeah, uh, well, but well, well, there's got to be. There's got to be. I mean, it could be. It could be just like a hole that you didn't, you couldn't fit it in. I mean, because you've got holes all over your body that you can't fit your dick. You don't try and fuck someone in the nostril, do you? No. Or the, you know, we're not. Well, not. we're not yet anyway. But I'm I mean, sure that's like a fetish for like a very small minority. When, when you consider the thing, the things. I mean, when you consider the places men have put their dicks over, like like you, you there are men who fuck the arches of women's feet together. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's a that's be... how really nice. <laughs> well, well, I mean, she ain't got to do much. It's good work for her. She can't. You can't really fuck yeah. that up, can you? You know, you know. Um, anyway, I have tried. To, I have tried to the best of my ability. This is not, that's not an encouraging start, a uh, thing to sort of like, I don't want the best of your ability, <clears throat> mate. I mean, you could have got some, uh, got some people in. To, I've tried to the best of my ability to make this ebook very simple. This is for the benefit of, and this is an interesting phrasing here. This is for the benefit of teenagers, mature adults, and the elderly. Now, why would you put mature adults and T- but teenagers before shouldn't mature teenagers surely is yeah. the uh, you know yeah it seems and, like you skipped skipped normal like adult adults yeah adults yeah adults cut like I've got a skateboard so I would be an immature adult <laughs> like, I've got mature a backwards adult. yeah is if that you've just got people without a skateboard if, if, if you've got your hat on, if you've got your hat on backwards and you know, <laughs> you, you, and you're like you're listening to Limp Biscuit you're not allowed to uh, you know uh, you're not allowed to read this. I have also tried I have also tried to the best of my ability to cover the important areas that relate to straight sex. Well the vag <laughs> is vag- the vagina which is what he's already um st- stated I imagine. Such are the air <laughs> such are the areas that I believe most people overlook leading to misunderstanding, confusion and mistrust in relationships. <clears throat> I, I've never known that. You know I don't think I don't I don't think there's I don't think there's any man who's ever overlooked he might he might be crap at it. He might not put the effort in, but he doesn't overlook any any part. Um it is my sincere hope that you will not only enjoy reading this ebook, you will also apply what you read in your personal life, Danny. That's <laughs> you uh, over there. My aim yeah. it, my aim is very simple. Help you have a fulfilling, refreshing, rewarding, and healthy straight sex life. That is his catchphrase. <laughs> this is I what tried our... being straight. Uh, it wasn't super healthy. Well, yeah, but you're, no, but, yeah, but you are you're as close as you know we're going to get here. I I'm, mean, I'm, I'm straight adjacent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll pass. You're straight passing. You know, we you could you you could say it, and people might believe you. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, the green air wouldn't put them off. I mean, it's like, but the thing is, I. I'm I'm obviously I'm I mean I'm obviously the the straightest whitest cisest gendered <laughs> ma- maleist thing you know I'm basically I'm a relic I'm borderline and I'm like a caveman you know because like <laughs> you know these days and like you know but it's not my look don't don't blame me because I got privilege bingo four cherries bang bang got the lot you know because you know but trust me you you'd want some of this right you've got some privilege <clears throat> but you ain't got oh, yeah. the, you ain't got the full fucking you know. You haven't got you haven't got the full the full set you know like I have and so 
That's why you you try like getting a lottery this. card that you got. I, like 20 I don't. I acknowledge. <laughs> I acknowledge, and I acknowledge the existence of all the privilege, and I don't run away from it. And I fucking you know, I w- I would like to see, and obviously, I would like to see it. You know, dismantled and everyone treated oh, yeah. fairly. But I don't at the want. Same, I don't want the, the the I want to take the casino down, so we don't. Yeah, have to give but at the same time, but at the same time, I also get why they're so reluctant to do that. You know, it's the same <laughs> reason why a heroin addict is reluctant to give you his to hand over his syringes and let you lock him in. The, it's that because they, you know, except the difference is the heroin in te- in the case of privilege. The privilege, you know, if you were put on heroin since you were born and you didn't know it and you were always you always felt good and high and you always felt nice and mellow and you just thought that's the way it is, you know, and like and then suddenly you get and then suddenly you get to like your third, you, you get to be an adult and then suddenly you're told that, oh, no, no you, you're, you've got that feeling, you know, you're, you've been given that feeling. You're not supposed to feel that good. Everyone else feels like shit, but you get that and then you try and take it off them. They'll try and... <clears throat> I'll be like, fuck you. They'll try because it's, you know, why would you possibly, what, what, you know, reasonably, why would any person go, <clears throat> oh, I'm going to give up every advantage I've got, you know, that, uh, in in life? You know what I mean? It's, um, instead, they just it deny it. It would definitely it. take a lot of, uh, like, willpower for sure. Yeah. Well, this is why, this is what I say to men who are like, you know, this is why those, you get those geezers, like, you know, so many of these geezers, like, this angry, straight white you know vi- you know victim complex you know persecution mm. complex white guy because oh yeah what, it's so what's hard happened, to be because what's things. happened but it is but it's the thing is 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 why a source of a lot of their anger they've they they've they've, they've been told they're supposed that you're supposed to do well they have failed like they're not the success <clears> they <throat> want to be and right. and they and they've done they're that and they and, the, and they don't know who to be angry at because they yeah. they th- they think that they're supposed to just sashay in and um, go, and uh, and go for it. And also, this is why you get a lot of because, like, you get a lot of people now, a generation who don't remember the time before they had affirmative action and minority quota hires at job placements. You know, so they sit there and go that oh, it's unfair because you know people should just get hired on whether they're good or not. And it's like, yeah, we tried that. And we proved not to be reliable. You know, I mean, it's like you know, we we proved, we, you know, and it's uh, and so like this is this is how the law works. You don't invent a law, you don't, or you don't invent a rule that didn't need to exist. You know, that and that's the so that's the problem, really. You know, and ironically, <clears throat> the problem. But then, ironically, we give a, we do affirmative action, but then we use affirmative action against. We use it to pit minorities against each other. So mm-hmm. if there's t- ten people it's for still a, jo- a competition, yeah. yeah. Well, if there's ten people going for a job, eight of them are white guys, and there's two women. Those two women are thinking, right? That she's my competition, not everyone right. else. You know. Yeah, I just don't want us to have to compete for like you know stuff that keeps us alive. I just want. Do you know what I want? I just want. I just want everything I've ever wanted given to me for nothing, and then. That's it. And I don't want to have to work or justify. I just want someone to give me a load of money that they don't, you know, there's loads of them out there. Just give me mm-hmm. enough money and then I'll, I'll go away. You I'm the want worst a sugar parent. <clears throat> no, I don't want that. You know, I don't want to, have to <laughs> I, I don't want to have to bang some old granny just to fucking. Oh, you just have to be their friend sometimes. No, you, you say that. But, if, <laughs> yeah, but the fact is, the fact is she knows at any moment that if she, you know, <laughs> that you're, you've got, I mean, is the problem is the problem with that is that i you know i i don't want to be unless she's literally like you could be a digital one yeah but that's fucking like but anyone could be a digital i mean that's like how fucking you know awful are these how desperate do you have to be i mean i'll oh, at least you know if she's got enough money she could fly me out there you know and i'll be like, <laughs> true you know and i mean but i would want her to be basically on the verge of death i mean i'd want her to be like you know <laughs> Barely, you know, completely and utterly, like, 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 like Splinter from the Ninja Turtles. Just, you know, just like, just like, just like a, you know, like a hamster, you know, like a hamster when they get really old and they just. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was, that was chapter one, by the way. We finished right. chapter one. So, so. <laughs> sorry cha- about the tangent. Sorry, chapter two. That's the whole point, the tangent. Yeah. Chapter, so chapter two, what is straight sex? Right now, I, I just want us to imagine. <laughs> he just would, did this. Well, no, he didn't say what is straight sex. He just said that he's going to be covering the area. So, I mean, he he used the word vaginal, but I think if you're the sort of person who needs 
this question explained, the answer to this question explained, then him saying that they're just sat here now going, what's vaginal? I don't know. Mm-hmm. What is the, do you know, darling? Those kids, I don't know. Cause these are for obviously for Christian dorks who right. like, you know, these are for like, you know, those people who weren't given any, yeah, the chi- these are the, these are the pastel shirt wearing Chino twats, the gap advert motherfuckers, you know, who, who you know, slash frat boy types you know the kind like you hey, didn't it- even teach us that the clitoris existed <clears throat> or like what it did well i mean quite frankly you 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 know that you, know, you should have known i mean um <laughs> how was i supposed to know i, was I like, don't know it's your fucking body it's your fucking body i mean you see yeah. when you know you see young i've seen you know young boys they'll stick anything anywhere they'll stuff lego up their ass all fucking day i feel like they- that's a lot easier to figure out <laughs> Well then, well then, why are women? Why do women give such men a hard time if they can't find it? You were fucking. You just. You've just basically admitted that you you had one, and they I just told, needed science. Everybody needs sex ed. Yeah, sex ed is one thing, but you're saying that. But like, Tony, why why do men get bust get get busted on and get get like feel made to feel shame because they don't? They, they, you know, the information is available. Not, now. Yeah, yeah, you could just but, Google that oh, shit. No oh God, yes, or ask because, the person. Oh yeah, because men are gonna ask. We can't even ask someone for directions when we're driving. We won't even read the instruction manual to a fucking. That sounds an, like a man problem to me. Exactly, but what I'm saying is, if if a man cannot find it within himself to to pick up the instruction manual for a DVD you know player, he's not gonna ask them. a woman. He's not gonna <laughs> ask a woman, "Where's your clitoris?" I mean, this is why I think women started getting them pierced. So men, because it made right. it easier. A man, a man could, a man, a man could just turn up with the piece with a magnetic chest piece and go right, oh, right. Then, there it is, oh. right? You know. Oh, imagine if he had a funny one of those. Imagine if some geezer had one of those fucking like iridium magnets, like the strong fuckers. And oh geez, no! It would be dancing be like, around. Yeah. yeah. Doing like what? Is it an MRI? The ones it, that can like, be, rip out your be, piercings. It'd be dancing around like a clam neck That's with a fucking. <laughs> Anyway, what is straight sex? Sex in general means different things to different people. True. It doesn't really, does it? I mean, it is different things, but it's not. It doesn't mean different things. It's kind I of. Mean, it's like a, all the things put together. It's sticking some things in other bits, and <laughs> that's it. Until there is, and there's a definite ending, which generally tends to be. I still don't. Work, I still can't work out how lesbians know they're finished and why they would stop in the first place. <laughs> I've never, I've never known know how they, you know, because. You know, because you know, they can just carry on. I mean, just, why won't they just? Why would you just not keep going? Uh, you know, men, you've probably got to just get tired. I would assume. I mean, men, men, you know when it's over because that's where that's what men come coming is. That's the end. Yeah, but then you At take least... a break and you can go again. Like, yeah, but that's the end of that thing, is it? No, women do like... the same thing. Yeah, but they, yeah, but they still, yeah, but there comes we a point where just come longer when you have a a, a vagina, like yeah, but exactly. But you like can keep, you can life. keep going, and you don't need to even stand up and do too t- much. And you get and you've got dildos that can do things that no amount oh. of evolution, no amount of evolution is going to fucking you know do that to a man. You know, a man, I'm not going to get like a fucking vibrating fucking wobble with loads of little ball bearings in it that wobble around and fucking. I mean, I think they're getting they're getting pretty advanced with these things. Yeah, I know, uh, but uh, yeah, you can even get dragons. One, I mean, when you've got women uh-huh. buying yeah, dildos, those dragon things are wild looking. I mean, when women are buying dildos for mythical creatures, I mean, that's <laughs> the point. That's the point when men really are starting to be obsolete at that point. Well, anyway. men technically, like like males, if you if you consider them as like <laughs> sperm donors and mm-hmm. and and that like <laughs> they mm. can make babies from well, as long women's as, well, look, DNA. Look. Look, as and... long as as long as as long as there are jars that need opening and something on the top shelf that a woman wants, men have got some purpose. But until then, until so what then... you're saying is we just all need personal robots or strong women. Yeah, <laughs> effectively, once women th- they'll figure out how to do it eventually. Once they figure it out, you know, there's no reason for it. There's no reason for. It. I mean, there's... I date I, I dated this uh, I dated this woman once who was who was bisexual, and I just used to constantly every now and again say. Like you could choose to be with a woman. Why are you with me? I mean, it makes no sense. Why, <laughs> like you, like you could be, you could be with a like that because why would you not be with a woman if you like even like, if you? I mean, I can understand. They if you're must in a, really like you then. I know, but that's the that's the thing that messes you up because I'm like I can't fathom how anyone could like see Etsy virtually any any woman. You know, because I mean, I'm, I'm just maybe I'm just being you know I'll be accused of just being 
a fucking SJW feminized <laughs> cuck here. But I just, I just prefer like, I just prefer women or like, you're self hating men. It's not, it's not that. It's, no, it's not. It's I'm not just that, me. I'm, I'm not even actually. It's not that. Me, it's not, the thing is, though, I'm one of the better examples of men, and I'm a fucking <laughs> douchebag. I'm a dirtbag. I'm a fucking. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. So, like, and if I'm one of the better ones, you know, that's the embarrassing thing. You know, it's like, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not t- uh, typical. Anyway, <laughs> indeed. So, sex means different things to different people. Indeed, you can be very surprised by how one describes sex. Right, there's a Zorro, a Zorro outfit, and I got my Batman cape on. You're laying across a topographic map of the Himalayas, dressed as Darth Vader. I, it's <laughs> not really. Um, which can turn out to be totally different from what sex means to you. Uh, b- vanilla, I think, is the b- b- best way to describe. <laughs> yeah. Contra- contrary to common belief, this is now this. If anyone can work out what the fuck this guy is trying to say here and why, I, I would like because I cannot figure this out. Contrary to common belief, sex is not an activity; it is an act. In this in this respect, an act does not necessarily mean an activity. You can therefore say that sex is an act you perform with a partner. Now, the definition of activity is to perform an act. So, yeah. what does he mean? What does he I mean? It's like, not an isn't act- it both? Like what? <laughs> it's well, it just it doesn't. You know, I just don't understand what what he's getting. You can at. have it's, a sex act, or you can have sex but is activity. A, a, a sex it just act. depends how long yeah. it happens. But like, a, yeah, a, if you're put for, if you're doing a sex act, you are performing a yeah. sexual activity. That's the you know. But I've, yeah, I've decided it's you know, the same. everyone. I've I've never seen anyone who's got like some people have like you know a, a sort of uncomfortable. They don't like certain words. They just find them uh, weird, like the word moist. Yeah, is always one that yeah, I know really gets people. people have a lot of an aversion to that one. But activity, I've never known <laughs> that. But anyway, it just it, really gets this guy. It therefore turns out that, but that was the that was a paragraph that didn't need to be in there. I figured <laughs> sex was an activity or an act. I figured it would mean I'd have to move and do stuff. You know, it's like <laughs> I was be part of it. Yeah, yeah, you've got to be involved. You. You've got to be involved. You've got to learn your lines and get get, get, in, get in the script. Yeah, that's the part that makes it, like, are you saying it's an act like you're acting? Because that's weird. I you don't You kind like of that. are in a way unless sometimes, you're, aren't unless you? you're like Women do more than playing. men. If you're, if well, you're the I mean, woman. I, I don't I can, advocate for that. I, I, I don't think you should pretend. No, no. <laughs> unless no, you want to get it over with and you're trying to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but but like, I mean, I'm I'm guessing that 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 the women who are re who are you know married to the geezers who are reading this, you know, are not exactly going to be on the train. They're not on the train to come town, are they? You know, they're, they're like. So what is sex? Yeah. So but, well, darling, you pretend <laughs> you you scream just the louder you scream, and uh, I want the neighbours to hear it, and. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, you haven't got to pl- act for very long. This will be basically, this will be a commercial a, a teaser trailer at best. Anyway, uh, it therefore turns out that uh, it therefore turns out that straight sex is sexual intercourse that you perform with your partner. With four pages in, this is where he's still at, right? <laughs> your your partner. Now, this whole lot is just again. We talk about you know this. This is obviously a running theme with these, but just unnecessary words in this it's so, it's so he could have written this on one of those little sticky notes that you put yeah it's on a really, fucking, really long-winded your, your partner can be your wife in case you are married or an intimate female friend now he's advocating sex out of wedlock there which is quite yeah. which is quite cool and also I it didn't say girlfriend like yeah an intimate female more, friend there's yeah but that's different from a girlfriend and a wife yeah, but also, why, why, why does he think that only men um, need to to read this? You know, I mean, like he's not—he's not, he's not he's, writing it for women. No, I know he's. And look, look, none of this shit is for women. <laughs> women don't. Women aren't this fucking stupid, right? Like, like the They'll women. Google it. Like, yeah, ask. Exactly. <laughs> women. If women don't get when women have women who have bad sex lives, that they just eat ice cream and get fat and don't give a shit. Men like they want to. Kill people. They they sit there and go, "I'm going to kill everybody, everybody in the world," and they get vans and run people over. That's what you oh know. God. 
that's, that's yeah, what we do. Yeah, the incel community is definitely predominantly men. Exactly. Like, there's no female incel. I had a geezer there's the other day. There's femcels, but it's just like yeah. A, but are they it's really? Or, are they fem? Are they femcels, or are they just thinking, well, these cunts are so desperate, you know, that you know I can't fail to do well. I mean, if you can't, if you can't yeah, pull an incel, part of it, like you have to be like self-hating. You can't yeah. hate men. You have. To but hate I also wonder. It's too. like it's it's like with most of the female mras <laughs> mras i kind of i kind of got like why a lot of them did because i'm like it's an easy grift in it because if you're a woman ad- saying this shit they'll fucking you know they'll they'll, they'll go for it and they'll be you know because like, oh, yeah. they're desperate they're just for- pulling a candace owens yeah i mean i know i can i can i can i can go with it. i can i can understand why you do that anyway but um anyway so straight sex in case you are a, in case you are a man just in case, um, in case, like on that, when, when you find yourself as a man, involves it <laughs> in involves case you become a man. Yeah, no, it just says in case you in case you are a man. He doesn't in say. Case because, you're I, a man. I think we're expecting a lot of, in case of emergency, like in yeah, case okay. of being a man. But I think he's. I think I think we're expecting a lot for this guy to acknowledge the existence of of transgender people. I'm not going to ask oh, him. Yeah, I don't no, know. The, I don't know the man. I don't want to judge him. You know, but um. I just, I'm just saying, the guy's into he's pendulum funny, dowsing. Uh, the, the, the guy's into pe- yeah, yeah, he, he's into pendulum dowsing. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's not that up with the modern world, right? Okay. Um, straight sex, in case you are a man, involves inserting and thrusting your erect penis into the vagina of your female partner. In case you are a female, it involves. <laughs> It involves accepting an, an erect penis into your vagina and engaging in the act by thrusting as well. Now, that's not strictly true because he's saying that I don't think that accepting an erect penis is an act. Like, you don't effectively... It's not like there's a gate there and we have to pay a, you know, mm-hmm. answer answer three <laughs> questions or pay a toll. It's not like you well, can I just... Well, I guess, I mean, it's sort of... I mean, it's sort of like an acknowledgement of consent. Yes. Like... But it's not an so act. Part, it? If you yeah. don't, if you don't consent to it, it's not sex anymore. So I guess that's. But you're still. Well, yeah, but you're still. I mean, you're still be accepting. I mean, you're having it forced on you, but you're still accepting it. In. So let, I think we're reading too much into this, and it's getting. A, <laughs> a, but anyway, however, however, the purpose of this ebook is to help you have a fulfilling, refreshing, rewarding, and healthy straight sex life. It therefore turns out that a straight that a straight sex act with a female minor or a female relative does not constitute a healthy straight sex life. So this obviously was not a big seller in Alabama. This um this one um so yeah, uh, female relative. I like that yeah. Yeah, the problem like, like the problem with doing that is that it's not healthy. Well, okay. But I think similarly, similarly, engaging in straight sex with a prostitute or having an extramarital straight sex or rape is not a healthy form of straight sex. Um, but didn't didn't he say that your partner could be an intimate friend? Yes, but he said they can't be. Un- yeah, but uh, he said prostitute is not so an intimate to friend. Marry, you have to marry someone. <laughs> oh, does he mean oh extramarital? Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Premarital. It's- no, 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 no. He's he's saying oh, he's, okay. he's saying engaging in straight sex with a prostitute, having an affair, or oh, okay. rape. You know, or oh, okay. having an aff- or having or or <coughs> having an affair that involves you raping your underage prostitute fre- relative is the yeah. You know, that's a combination of all the things that are not. And I like the fact that his his problem with it is it's just not healthy. It's not it's not good for you. Which is not I hope actually he elaborates yeah. more. I I don't I think know. this is a disclaimer. I mean, when you consider the tone of this book, and he's just thrown rape, incest, and prostitution into yeah. into there. I mean, this is a, like so. He's just making it clear: God is not okay with this, you know. Um, right. Um, from huh. from the foregoing, from from the from the foregoing. Who says foregoing anymore? Like, when was the last time it was? Here? From the foregoing. I don't think I've heard anyone use that. Yeah. yeah, out loud. From the foregoing, are you ready? Say it with me. A fulfilling, refreshing, rewarding, and healthy straight sex life involves having straight sex with a female partner who is not a minor, not a relative, not a prostitute. Your partner must also consent without any form of coercion to have straight sex with you. Right. Good. I'm glad that's covered. I'm, I'm just worried about the geezer who read that and went, ah. Oh. 
Oh, well, you know, I'm like, but I didn't. I'm glad know he said that. Let I me was make. Confused. I was not aware of that. Did, did you well, know this, day? Honey, did you know this? <laughs> did you know that I'm not allowed to? You know, I'm not allowed to coerce you. Apparently, you can say. And she's uh, like, I can leave. Yeah, and you're allowed to say uh, no. <coughs> is it? No, yeah. Apparently, you're allowed. Yeah. To. Yep. She's like, all right. And she's like already out the door. I mean, I'm not, so I, you know, that's how it's going to be. I mean, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to put this baseball bat here and fucking wave my fist in the air. Um, and, uh, um, your, okay. The next, this is the next sub chapter. Um, your sexuality, your, <coughs> your, your sexuality. Um, uh, it is impossible to have a fulfilling, refreshing, rewarding, and healthy straight sex life without understanding your sexuality. It is from mm. discovering and understanding your sexuality that you can be able to express yourself as a sexual being. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, darling? I'm expressing my sexual being. Um, <laughs> remember, remember that we are all <coughs> sexual beings. Well, that's not true, you know. Some people um, are asexual. Well, apparently, none of my relatives, anyone who's under the age of fucking uh, 16, a prostitute. Yeah, children um, are not sexual beings. Someone who's dead, animals, presumably. I mean, he didn't, throw, yeah. he didn't specify that, but... Um, uh, if you're alive and you're not ace or it, a child. I mean, yeah, he's not exactly going to say, look, if it's got a spinal column, I'll do it. You know, that's... Uh, <laughs> Is it, are you a sentient mammalian biped? Brilliant. That'll do. Come here. Your consciousness is preferred, if not negotiable. Your sexuality... He doesn't say that. Your sexuality simply refers to the quality of sexual nature. Now, this is where he starts talking a load of bollocks. Meaningless shit. Because oh, that, that sentence means nothing. Your sexual nature. The quality of your sexual nature. Um... Your sexuality is the way that you experience and express yourself sexually. Well, it's not really, is it? Your sexu your sexuality is the thing that causes you. To it's like your your sexuality is not informed by your what Your sexuality turns you. would be like your attraction? Yes. That's what he's trying to say. Again, this is all just words, and but this is the fucking lifetime. Does he consider masturbation to be sexual? I don't know. I'll email him. But he might, he right? might maybe maybe he'll you know maybe he'll get on. He to would it. answer, but no, he'd have to listen to this. It's a sad thing, though, isn't it? He would. He would never all. answer. If he he probably, this is pro I guarantee you. Even if he listened to this, he'd probably be so happy just to know. <laughs> that oh, true. Is, Somebody read his document. It'll be. It'll be like. It'll be so fucking. But it'll be like the geezers who made laser discs. He's like, someone's got one. Someone's <laughs> bought one now. You know, like my physics teacher in high school. Babe, yeah, that's... he's like the he's like the guy who had Betamax instead of VHS. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, uh, your sexual uh, your sexuality therefore is informed by various factors, including physical, emotional, social, spiritual, erotic, and biological. That's all. I don't know any emotional factors or spiritual ones either. I don't want. <laughs> Um, I mean, you could. There's, there. You know, that must be the like, shit. What's I that called? Like tantra, ta tantric sex. sex. But that's not spiritual. That's to do with you just doing those, doing exercises. You know mm -hmm. that. That's. I um, mean, yoga is a spiritual practice. It's practice. not. Yeah, but it's not. It's just an exercise that. No, people... I mean, it's been bastardized by like yeah. white people. But like actual yoga there's, is if, like an actual spiritual. I mean, practice. to be honest, it's uh, that sort of stuff. That fucking. That just sort of winds me up. It's so like it winds me up more than like just like your your most sort of basic religious, orthodox, religious, like old fashioned types because it's almost like a sort of a white, a bastardized white westernized sort of moderate. Like it's like it's like someone says, "Oh, I'm a I'm an orthodox Catholic from like that," or "I'm a member of the Taliban." I prefer that to when people say, oh, "I'm a bit spiritual." I'm like, I'm like, oh <laughs> fuck off! Have a, you know, if you're gonna believe in this crap, at least fucking have it. You know, Pick at least, one. yeah. Don't just say I'm a bit spiritual. That just means you're gonna fucking ignore things. And, That's agnostic. You know, when you want to, you're gonna, you know, when you want to, you're just gonna say, oh, it's, it's you know, th th there's spirits in the air. And if if you they're don't those want people to, people that are like, I'm an empath. I can tell how everyone's feeling, and I don't those, ever have to ask. They're those kind of <laughs> they're those kind of women, those upper middle class women who have got no reason to be miserable, but they go on a fucking world. They go around the world to define themselves. Yeah, you know, and write and they write write books like Eat, Pray, Love, Vomit or something like that. And, uh, <laughs> 
I wish that was the title. They go, I would have read it. They, they go to it. They go. I'm going to India to find myself. Would have been a you're way here. better movie. I'm going to. I'm going away to find myself, darling. You're here, right? You're right here, right? You're been and, there the and whole I'll tell time, you what. Babe. And I'll tell you what, you're going to be, and whenever, wherever you go, it's going to be the same fucking you. That's all yeah, it's going to be. You literally you... cannot outrun yourself. You and know, even if, even if, living. even if you're a different, better person, when you go to New Delhi, you're going to still come back to fucking Connecticut and be the same miserable fucking bitch you fucking were last time. So that's d- true. So just fucking <laughs> deal with what you got. Anyway, um, the factors in the fact these the factors inform your sexual. Re- this is again another piece of bullshit. Your sexual response cycle. Um, don't know what the the sexual response cycle. It's a, you know, it's, I'm assuming you mean cycle as in as in like physical process, not but not a bike with not a thing with like, two wheels. Like the process of being turned on and then off. I again. don't know. Well, he's going to elaborate. As I, mean, I need as, to know which which <laughs> which. Can- your sexual response cycle, which can be either healthy or unhealthy, while you while while you are most likely to live a fulfilling and healthy straight sex life with a healthy sexual response cycle, having an unhealthy sexual response cycle can be very devastating. And such devastation is what leads to low sexual performance, which is a cause for many marriages and intimate relationship breakdowns. I also don't I don't think that fucking your twelve year old niece should be seen uh, the the big problem with that is uh, you know you might you know you might not get a hard on for your wife that's oh like God, yeah you know, get, ha, get, being being Mr Floppy is not the fucking it's that's illegal you shouldn't do that um yeah yeah that's like and, and it yeah. just it it's a uh, yeah it's, you're not good, and they don't do well in prison they get, get they get it oh, force yeah. fed glass and shit anyway apart from the indicated factors which I'm still not aware of what it is they I mean it's just, this is a page worth of bollocks right i don't understand anything he said so far your genetics and the social environment you live in also affect your sexuality he i'm 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 relieved he's at least put genetics there uh, similarly, <clears throat> similarly, such other factors. Presumably, he thinks that you are of a, you know, a, you know, a sort of broken uh, uh, <laughs> genetic. Your genetics are inferior if you if you are gay. But the factors, uh, factors such as mm. culture and education, factors such as culture and education level come into play. No, they <laughs> don't. What? I, 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 my sexuality was not informed by my geography lessons at school. Or like, Only you know, poor people are straight, actually. Yeah. Just because I can... <laughs> uh, are you saying I would have a better sex life is if I could do long division, which I can't? Because you know, like, like, women are turned on by algebra. Uh, yeah, sapiosexuals. Like, like, that's mm. a real thing. How... Go fuck a book, Okay. <laughs> Go fuck a book. Well, you know, like have stuff. fun with that if it turns you on so much. <laughs> and clearly, if you're gonna fuck a book, fuck one that Paul Joseph Watson is gonna eat. You know, to like, um, how do you how do you factor how do these factors affect your sexuality? Uh, well, the factors inform how he's not telling me anything useful here. He's just saying there are things out there, and those things affect you. How ooh and and the effect they have on you determines. But what am I supposed to do about my education? I'm not going to go back to school just to get a just to to learn how to have to a better. Be yes, I'm not going to go get a fucking do me do go get a high school a GED pl- diploma because <laughs> you know to improve your sex life. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You know, a, um, well, the factors inform how you develop an interest in the opposite sex. Most importantly. They are they a your sex your sex drive. They a your sex drive, not they are. Um, note that your sex drive can be high or low, which definitely affects your straight sex life. Um, he keeps saying straight, even though he told us that's also, all he means. Also, your sex drive can be high or low, but normally it's in the middle, isn't it? I mean. That's like you know that's the thing. It's like you're saying it's Most high or low. Most people are in the middle of anything. That's yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> your sexual response cycle simply refers to how you respond physiologically prior, during, and soon after sexual intercourse. So that's the cycle. Okay. But he says physiologically, so he's talking about how your well, I mean, the body response. 
Yeah, what he's saying is, do you get a boner when you see naked ladies? That's what he's <laughs> saying. Does it make you come and do you then pass out and then want to sleep? And that's... Is sure. that, <laughs> that's the question. That's it. That's all he's fucking saying. The cycle involves four phases in both men and women. That's eight phases to go through. It, it, the, these phases are... Oh, my God, these are amazing. Are you ready for the eight phases? The excitement phase... The plateau phase, the orgasm phase, and the resolution phase. Now, for me, the orgasm is the resolution because I'm not having a conversation after the orgasm. That, that's not. There's no. There's no. There's no point. After I think that. he means the like getting your breathing back to normal breathing. But that's got nothing to do with sex at that point. The sex is over. I mean, it's like you know, it's like the the, the end credits don't matter in a movie. That's just the bit where you leave the. Um... It's no, part of the movie. Me, me, it's me, just me, most people aren't paying attention to me, it. Me sort of undoing my trousers after I've had a big meal and then farting on the sofa is not part of dinner. It's not part of the dinner breaking program. <laughs> it's part of digestion. Yeah. It, yeah <laughs> yes, but do, do you do, when you go for dinner? Do you sit there and go, oh, do you talk about like, oh, we're going to go out to dinner? To oh, brilliant! I mean, we can have the digestion. Process. It takes about. Uh, anyway, we're going off track again. Uh, I'm where sorry. are? I'm sorry, it's not your fault. No. Your oh, sex, sorry. your sexual response cycle as a man begins at the excitement phase. I'm pretty sure it begins. Be bef fit, see, please. see, if the resolution, if the post cum bit counts, then surely the pre boner bit counts because that involves a lot of planning. You know, you mm. don't normally, you don't normally just go right from sexual mode. Enter, please, you know, engage excitement phase. Du, 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 du. <laughs> it is during the excitement phase that two specific areas in your in, in your spine cause you to erect. What to erect? Salute to erect. What what, is, <laughs> what does he mean in your spine? What has my spine got to do? Like your nervous system. What about people who slouch? Or what about someone? <laughs> What about someone in a wheelchair? Like, I you know, know. Uh, um, <laughs> let's see if you go. This is when, uh, this is when vasoconstriction, occur I, vasoconstriction occurs in your penis. Yeah. Yep. Blood, blood. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it and, gets blood hard. <laughs> yeah. Le le leading to an increased flow of blood into your testicles. And as we, as we know, testicles. Before, Before everything. anything. A process that also thickens your scrotum. What does it mean? Thickens. Thickens, thickens it. What is it like? The scrotum the, the skin. The skin thickens or it gets <laughs> fuller or... I've never checked my scrotum, to be honest with you. I've never, um, I've never done a pre... I've never, I've never heard that in a porn. I've never heard a woman go, oh, your scrotum so thick. <laughs> You've got a thick scrotum. Oh, women are women are bouncing around with their big fat asses on fucking Instagram. There's men. Get your. We need to do last chicken at Sainsbury's where you pull your dick up and bounce them around. Going, look at my thick, look at my thick ball bag. Look, no, that's the, thick is the, not a word I would ever have imagined be used to describe. Well, that. I mean, this is this is why this is an educational book. I mean, this is yeah. why the plateau phase involves the lengthening and thickening of the penis. Um, it is also in this phase that your calpus glands emit the or, uh, emit pre-seminal fluid pre cum um <laughs> pre-seminal fluid he wanted to sound smarter i love that pre-seminal it just sounds like the it sounds like the school you go to before you become a priest <laughs> um the the orgasm phase the orgasm phase as a man sorry about the dog it's okay he's just mad at everything the, uh, yeah, well, he needs to calm down. He, the, maybe he's in his excitement. He's in his excitement phase. The dog. He's, he's, um, he's been excited. He's in his he's red rocket phase. <laughs> he's going through his red rocket phase. Eventually, um, he'll stop. Yeah, he's getting, then he goes through the uh, he's leg got my humping dog phase. The orgasm phase, as a man, involves sustained rhythmic contractions after every 0 0.8 seconds. Now, I want to know how he fucking did. He sit there with a stopwatch. Maybe he uh, watched a bunch of like porn. Or maybe he's it. just lying because who cares? <laughs> he could have said if if he'd said naught point if he said one point two seconds, I'm not gonna say that's bollocks. That's <laughs> off by that's a factor of it's thirty percent he's off there. Right. Um the rhythmic contractions encourage your prostate, 
Van's deferens and your seminal vesicles to force ejaculation, resulting in organ. This is fucking. He has got. I forgot got, all those names. It's a little he, fun. He's got. Uh, this is word of the day. Van's deferens. When, when, when did anyone? When did anyone last? It's yeah. the little boop you get snipped if you don't. If you want when to did? Your... When was the last time anyone referenced the Van's deferens? It's like no one. Like, like never gets. Never gets any credit. Um, there should be a there should be a, a a sneaker a trainer called the Deferens made by Vans. Anyway, um, <laughs> Vans Deferens, that's great. And this I love this that. this results Just call in, them off the ball. Yeah, this this yeah, that'd be good actually. Yeah. This, <laughs> this, this 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 results in the orgasm. What follows soon after? Is the resolution phase? That's where you pull out and just sort of wipe your dick with the nearest thing, and then lay down. And then five minutes later, the woman coughs and goes, "Get some toilet paper, love. <laughs> get, <laughs> get, get lots." Because <laughs> that's the faith they never teach you about in porn or in school. Is the, the mess the, that you the, have to clean up the sight the the, the, it, the sight of the woman you love who you've just had sex with fucking wiping herself out with a you know stuffing stuffing like a fucking huge wad of like half a roll of toilet paper just in between oh her, and okay. if you're a man if you're a man and you got to do it you got to pick you got to pick the uh, bits of tissue paper off oh otherwise God, you think because yeah. otherwise the dry bits will stay there and you think you've got syphilis in the morning See, right? and you get like washcloths and you mm. wash them every day. The time it uh, so the resolution. This is when your penis reverts back to the unaroused state through the refractory process. Oh, good. <laughs> the refractory. I'm glad it has a name. That's no, great. I'm, like you're right. Like love. I'm in my refractory process. It's love. In a I'm, moment. In, I'm, in, I'm in my resolution phase. Can I have five fucking <laughs> minutes? Right. You know, just to get the refract. The van's deference is fucking. <laughs> Stop, it's stopped contracting, babe. I mean, it's like you know, my vesicles have been like emptied of ves- of seminal fluids. You know, this is a uh, I seminated all over you. Um, this is uh, what Just follows. Just a minute makes all the vas difference. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, this paves the way for your sexual response cycle to start all over again in about twenty minutes. And <laughs> like he doesn't say twenty minutes, but the time it takes for your penis to erect again. The beginning of another Wait, round. That's just the way he says it. Yes. To erect. To erect again. Yes. That it's, it's doesn't about, make sense. Your penis does the erecting. It's like it, it does. Pe- it becomes. It's the pe- it's the penises. It's like you. Why pour, is it the verb? Water is the shape of whatever you pour it into, and the erect penis is, is like, yeah. supposed to be an adjective. Well, it's like someone saying, "I'm not hungry. My stomach is." You know, it's the. It's, it doesn't make it doesn't make any Erect, sense. Like like building a building. I look. I think we know what he means. He's not it a strong. Me out, he man. he, mi- he misspelled the title at the opening <laughs> page of the book. He's he's not a strong writer. Okay, so let's. All right. Uh, after orgasm, yeah, the time it takes for your penis to erect again after orgasm depends on your age. Um, these days, I'm lucky if I can raise a smile, let alone uh, <laughs> let alone two boners in the space of a month. While it can be as short, while it can be as short as between three to ten minutes in teenagers and young, at three to ten minutes, I can just. I hope yeah. you did. I hope you didn't ask that. It can take as long as between thirty to sixty minutes for the elderly bollocks. Granddad is going again after half hour. I don't it's buy the Viagra. that. I don't believe that for a fucking. I don't think either of them. Fucking, you know, would want to want to waste There's their time. A lot of horny old people. Yeah, but yeah, but I mean, they, but the other problem is they, they, they the probably pro- get tired. The problem you know. also, the problem also of being a horny old person is you both of you normally have to fuck another old person, and old person people are fucking unattractive, and that's another thing you got to take under account. Right? Note that some elderly people with health complications rarely achieve an erection, especially your nan. She were, she never fucking got one. Um, some old people are attractive. They're just not. They're just too old. For yeah, maybe a few Helen Mirren, Mirren, Mirren and Joanna Lumley, but like I hope you know, I'm attractive when I'm old. I'm gonna be cool though. Okay, are you gonna? Uh, this is what you're. This is this is what you're taking from this. You just want to be old and cool. You're gonna be one of those. Yeah, dude. Cr- you're going to be the kind of like you know the the the, the mad auntie who's like you know come you know I'll be the neighborhood weird witch. You don't, don't be one of those. Don't turn into one of those weirdos who's got. You're, you're going to be one of those women who has like you know one of those uh, old people who has like a special friend over you know who, who has lots of dream catchers in her house. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
crystals and all that oh shit. God. I love Where's... crystals, but it's just they're really pretty. And every like... chair's every chair has got a fucking throw. <laughs> that sort. Chanting. Do you do your, you know, Sanskrit chart and whatever the fuck is going on? Building with symbols or some bollocks like that. Incense still, you, you know. Oh all my that god, bollocks. stop making fun of my religion. I'm no, no. <laughs> You, you, well then, don't believe it. I mean, then we're just the simple fucking problem. Um, there is a slight difference. There's a slight difference if you're female. I think it's actually it's a pretty yeah. I would say there's a slight difference. Unlike a man whose excitement phase is quick and almost instant, your excitement phase starts and you can remain sexually excited for several minutes or hours. This is when both your heart and breathing rates increase and your blood pressure remains elevated. The skin on your back and chest become reddish with your breasts increasing in size and the nipples hardening. Um, (laughs) uh, The same thing happens to women if they drink um, pure Chardonnay wine. You'll get your pupils Mm. dilate and your nipples go erect. Is that a scientific fact? That is a a wine fact for you there. Damn. But it has to be pure Chardonnay from the actual region, Chardonnay grapes. Oh, I see, I see. Um, Otherwise, can't, it's can't be any of that. Not, you can't just be a yeah. It can't, it can't be a Viognier. They're too smooth and melony. Anyway, um, I know a I lot like about Cabernet. Wine. So. I know a lot about wine. I know a lot about wine. So um, anyway, what follows soon after the vasocongestion, a process that leads to the swelling of your uh, vagina, labia minora. The labia minora. Yeah, <laughs> the little lips. I know, but it's just the la- It sounds like a little instrument, or like some like <laughs> weird. Like, oh, where's you my labia? Play it. Where's my minora? <laughs> you know, and, and it's a little. It's the little lips and the big lips. Yeah, and the um <laughs> and and the clitoris. Your vaginal muscles tighten up. That's called a kegel, my friend. <laughs> I, Yeehaw! I get, I get on top. I do a kegel. You should be inside. <laughs> Come like a yeah, uh, anyway. exactly. Yeah, um, she knows and, what's up. And then, yeah, it'd be good if you just went there. And then you must take your Big Mac truck and park it in her little garage. That, that almost is the kind of language he's talking in. Yeah, he's like, you know. <laughs> now, uh, your Dude, vagin- I love the way that she says the word garage. Yeah. Fantastic. That's how you say that. <laughs> we say garage over here. Garage. 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 <laughs> we, 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 over here, we say the word, we say garage. That's yeah, what, that's what funny saying. to me. I'm sorry. Anyway, your vaginal, <laughs> your vaginal walls soon start to emit lubricating fluid. I'm like, I oh, forget, that. emit. That's just not a, uh, that's which, a weird word. Which, which prepares your vagina to receive yeah. an erect penis. And from the state of your, your, from the, from the state, if, if, if this book's anything to go by, play, you, you won't need like, oh, you bye. won't need much you won't need much love. Just fucking gob on your hand and rub it down there. That'll do. Your plateau phase as a female involves the increase of the changes that begin during the excitement phase. The increase of intensity, the changes can lead can easily lead to orgasm, even if you do not receive an erect penis. See, that's how useless penises are. Like you True. don't even you don't even need to receive one, right? No. Just just like in not men. necessary. Yeah. It's just like just additionally fun. <laughs> just a thing. Just the washing machine, the corner of the washing machine. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Just like in men, you enter into the resolution phase soon after orgasm. All the changes that had occurred prior to orgasm revert back to the normal state to pave the way for another round of sexual response cycle i get the feeling that that is the people are going to take that needs to be a thing now what are we going? hey darling do you want to do a sexual response cycle do you want to do you want to do i'm feeling like my excitement phase is ready to begin you know because you're you're i'll tell you what you're you're you've got you've got your labia menorah just fucking does it to me and like i want to see i want the i want a porn film to be made that has the words Vast Defer- Van Deferens and Labia Menora in, in both. That could, in both. Be, that could be the characters' names. Yes. Oh, well, what we just need to do is make the Rule Thirty Four porn version of this book. You know, which is to be. Oh, yeah. that, that's all we need to do. Um, it's, it's kind of our job. I say we. I'm we're saying we. We're the only we. ones that have ever read it, so we have. I'm, to yeah, I'm also also. <laughs> I'm saying we. I, I you know. Like you know. I, I think you should ask Jake first. You know, then we'll just we'll negotiate. Oh, I was um, but, assuming it was going to be illustrated or something. 
<laughs> no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't really be a porno movie, then, would it? It would be. Um... Oh no, I'm the designer. I'm not. You the are. Actor. You are. You are so. You are so. I'll do ador- the. I'll do the storyboarding. You are so adorable. <laughs> you are so adorably naive and innocent, aren't you? Like, there's me. Yeah, like, totally. like totally. There's me thinking we could get Lisa Ann out of retirement for this one, uh, Mia Khalifa, and uh, to do this. I'll one. be the director of it. I just. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can be the director. Yeah, we'll find. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be yeah. producer. I'll be the producer. I'll, I'll be, be your produ- wingman. We'll figure out. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be <laughs> the producer, and uh, gonna, and no, like, I'll can be the. You be a labia menorah. I'll Tell be the. Exe- I'll be. I'll be the how executive do you feel the producer. Would act? <laughs> Taking the vat, you know, yeah. Take well, they've got that one that's called like Sex Taxi, haven't they? Well, this is this is this is a guy. This is a guy with in in a van, right? This is a guy, and this is he'd be Van Deference. Yeah, he'll be Van. Yeah, what was it? Van Wilder, Party Animal. That was a film. (laughs) We need Van Deference. (laughs) <laughs> yes, there we go. It'll be a parody born. Harry Potter and the Labia Menorah. Of so them. all the girls, all the girls that he gets with, will be named after part of like yes, the vagina. Yeah, there'll be a there's, big there's girl. One, there's one she girl that be a Majora. Yes, and there's like just, really, and there's really one Majora. girl there who's and Labia there's one girl. Menorah. There's one girl there whose name is just Hole. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> she's dressed like Courtney Love. Yeah. Um, you're, okay, where are we? Uh, uh, creating a sexual relationship. What follows after sexual attraction is the creation of a sexual relationship. This this is so if the potential partner who you develop a sexual desire for also develops the same to you. Shouldn't you have developed that? Or you don't develop one, do you? You either do or you don't. Like you you have a sexual desire, like you know, in the first two seconds usually. I would say. Yeah, I feel like I pretty much could assess. That I'm not going to go out with someone on the someone. off on the off chance that I might get into them at a later yeah. date. You know, like you know, that I, I don't know. I might be into that. I might be into <laughs> amputees in a, a couple oh of months' time. So. Oh God! Oh, did you hear that one? What did you fart? That like what? pop. That was my shoulder. This oh right, okay. Shit. Well, your shoulder farted. Okay. Yeah, you know. You're popping your shoulder, right? Okay. So it feels better now. Okay, <laughs> that's random. <laughs> Just I'm sorry. I'm built like an old. Is, that, is it? Is it? Is it this exciting? This thing you're popping on oh, my shoulders, dislocating with excitement of the like. Oh, this... <laughs> no, I'm just in constant pain. Woo! <laughs> there are there are basically two ways you can start to create a sexual relationship: flirting and seduction. Ooh. Um, Those now are what different. you do. I'd be so great if he waves in there. What you need to do is you got, you get your friend to go up to a woman in a bar and say, "My friend's very shy," and then you t- and then you turn around. And- yeah, just fucking hit her with just be a meme. Yeah, That'll just do. remember, remember anchor, anchor, tap, anchor, <laughs> anchor. true <laughs> anchor. anchor, anchor. Make um, sure you touch her when she didn't tell you that was cool. Yeah, That'll say, help anchor, her remember- like you better. Yeah, before it all, before the pills kick in, flirting. <laughs> Flirting is the intentional manoeuvre. I love his fucking way he just... I love... What was... Why did he fucking write this? Because, like, if you do I it on accident, it's not sex. No, nobody it's needs to know... It's the intentional manoeuvre. But what kind of cunt needs to know this stuff is what I want to know. It's like... like flirting is the intentional manoeuvre Like a to 13-year-old it. boy who never got to... Like have yeah, but it's, but that's this ain't our thirteen year old thirteen year old boys don't need to know how to flirt for fuck's sake they're not going to be able to deal with that flirting's a bit more sophisticated than that they have trouble standing up and fucking you know well you know, then they <laughs> need they need this education like, no they they think fuck they they probably they, need it from somebody better than this guy but hey flirting is the intentional maneuver to attract the attention of a potential sex partner. Uh, there is no universal way of flirting because different people employ different flirting strategies. It can be uh, it can be through the employment of seductive body language, seductive conversation. I thought he said seduction was the other part. So, uh, sexual jokes or physical body contact. Yeah. Two nuns go down in the bath, and uh, one says. <laughs> So, um, it is very important to indicate that different people respond differently to flirting. It is therefore very important. It is therefore very important that you only employ a style of flirt. A style of flirt. What is your style of flirt? 
What are you? Sounds like a cosmopolitan magazine like <laughs> article. The style of flirt by you know. It sounds like a fucking it's like glam which rock blouse album. blouse do you want to wear? Sounds, sounds, sounds like a glam rock album. The style <laughs> of flirt. Rock set. The style of flirt um, that makes you makes your potential partner feel uncomfortable. The other way you can start a sexual relationship is through seduction. This is simply the intentional move to entice a potential partner to engage in sexual activity with you. Isn't that the same fucking thing you've literally described in the previous paragraph? I mean, like... He's going to go back and describe what sex means again. Yes. Uh, we haven't even got we haven't even got to that yet. We haven't got to the thrusting. I mean the thrusting is what I'm and the thick testicles, having the thick balls is what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of his big thick bollocks bouncing around the the van's deferens, the vast chasm to to get to the labia minora. Like the flirting, seduction is viewed differently by different cultures. Note that the term seduction literally means to lead astray. Okay, is that true? I don't believe that. Is that Huh. Let me look seduction? that up. Look up Seduce. seduction. P- persuading someone to have sex. Persuade. Temptation. I've got here. Yeah. That's... Um. Let's just let's do, let's do another one. Maybe maybe he's read an Urban Dictionary. <laughs> of, um, no, the attraction, the action, the action. Sorry, the act of seducing, not the activity. The action of seducing someone, uh, a tempting or attractive <clears throat> thing. Yeah, I, I, that doesn't mean. Uh, lead astray. Okay, I'll, let me let me look up the etymology of the word. Maybe it comes from that. Okay, um, is it Latin? I don't fucking know. Isn't everything Latin? Um, no, nah. <laughs> English is like a modge podge. Okay, okay, we got we got several. We got the Latin seduction, which draw aside. Um, origin to, and meaning to lead to persuade a vassal. It, but it doesn't mean lead astray. It just says to persuade. So that doesn't mean yeah. that you're to, leading. It just means to lead. The astray lead, part to, isn't to, really. To lead someone astray is to deliberately deceive them or to yeah, that's deception. make them. Yeah, exactly. Um, so he's, he's lying there. <laughs> um, but uh, He's added a word that doesn't really, it it's completely changes the meaning. Here we are. Um, oh, we got what now? Abusive sexual relationships. <laughs> well, hey, one, I'm glad he's covering it. One thing you need to know when creating a sexual relationship is the possibility of the relationship failing. Abusive relationships are often very complicated and therefore unhealthy. Indeed, some become... They can't become toxic and unsafe. It's an abusive relationship. It t- Surely it already is. Um, mm. How do you know that you are in an abusive sexual relationship? Uh, watch out for insults. The exhibition of power and control, lack of respect, unhealthy behaviour, yelling, and signs of possessiveness in your partner. You particularly need to watch it. What do you mean, watch out for physical abuse? Did, did, uh, like someone's reading this going, do you know what? That is that why he kicked the shit out of me last <coughs> Tuesday? I've just remembered. Mm. There is no room for such, such acts and behaviour in a healthy relationship. So there's no, no spanking yeah. with this gear. No, so, you know, unless it's <laughs> consensual. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, he said that, but I mean, he's like he says that he described all the other. He's talking about abuse, though. Mm. K- kink is okay. an abuse, but yeah. Be, uh, da, 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 um, sorry. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, if all fails, then terminating the relationship is your best option. Um, I would agree with that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, we'll give him that one. Okay, he knows. It's quite worrying, though, isn't it? That the the only part of this book that has made any sense to us in terms of relatability and logic is the one about abusive like relationships. Abuse. <laughs> yeah, abu- the se- Don't is be a li- abusive. The, the sexual abusive part. Relationship. Yeah, the bits where he's talking about sex sound really fucking stupid. And um, it's like, <laughs> okay, chapter four. I don't think we've got made much left at this point. No, uh, okay. chapter four. Challenges in sexual relationships. Challenges. Right. right. You have to answer <laughs> ten questions or I'll, and I'll take my panties off. Um, Did you get like a riddle? Yes, that'd be a good one. Yeah. How okay, so a, a man, right? A man is uh, a man is in um a boat, and all he's got is a box with two cigarettes in it, no matches, and no and uh, and no way of making a flame. How does he smoke the cigarette? He waits till a lightning storm. That's that's how you think the riddle 
goes, is it? That's, what, that's, what, that's your... He takes one of the cigarettes out of the box, making it a cigarette lighter. There you go. See? What good did your fucking education do you? Nothing, right? See? I won. Yeah, I mean, I, I fucking, one nil. One that's one nil to Generation X. I would on just, like, one. quit cigarettes at that point. I got more things to worry about than you might as well. Oh yes, but I mean you're in a two boat. Two last cigarettes. Yes, but what are you going to do? Build a raft. You're in a boat. I never said where you were. You know, you mm. might have been. In a, you oh, might have been. I thought like, you were stranded. Well, you might I'm be. Sorry. But you might be. But I mean, you might as well uh, sit there and have a fag while you sit and think mm. about what you what you're going to eat next. You know, this would be yeah. a good. Uh, <laughs> Probably keep you from being hungry for a good, yeah. few more minutes. All relationships have challenges, and sexual relationships are not an exception. It pays to know what the challenges are and how to overcome them. Trust. Lack of trust in your sexual relationship spells doom for the stability of the relationship. You and your partner need to understand each other perfectly well so as not to develop unhealthy thoughts whenever something comes up. That's a fucking bat bit too frigging vague for yeah. me. Um, I don't know while, what that means. While we are all jealous, you shouldn't be, Tom. That is a sin. Um, envy, envy is one of the sins. You need to take control of your jealousy for the sake of your relationship. Yes, but what if she actually is nobbing the Guatemalan gardener? She called then me Hav- she called me Javier in bed last night, uh, and, I, <laughs> I don't stop. and that those kids and one of one of my kids is a very strange colour, and I'm not you know, convinced by it. Religion, so tr- religion's number two here. You need to be careful, especially when your sexual partner belongs to a different religion from yours. This is because while some... How is that going to come up during sex, exactly? Like, what is that going to... How is this going to become a fucking... So, are you, is your religion... So, your did your God... Like, is he against tit, tit wanks? Is that Are they wrong? Am I allowed to come over you, or does it have to be... Like, well, the funniest part is, like, most of them, it's the same goddamn God. Yeah, well, I imagine I, I hardly doubt that your average sort of Orthodox Muslim and Orthodox Christian are going to va- vastly dif- you know differentiate between you know in their style. It's not like oh, there's more BDSM in in, in Al Qaeda, but the Westboro Baptist Church are well into like you know into into like rubber masks and stuff like that. You know, it's like worst church ever. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, uh, failure to understand and appreciate what your sexual partner believes sex and sexual behaviour can be. Uh, can be uh, sexual behaviour. I think he's meant to put another can be here. Can be a cause of problems in your relationship. Mm. Uh, uh, lack of privacy. We're well, not going to need that in sex, are you? You're not going to, you know, you're going to be like, don't look. <laughs> like, I'm not. Don't watch me get my get undressed. It's like, <laughs> is that for when they're like, "All right, I just want the lights off." I, yeah, yeah, this is where this is where they this is where the man might like take his socks off, or they might they might leave the lights on. They might push the beds together afterwards. <laughs> and um, uh, the fact that you are in a sexual relationship does not throw the need for privacy out the window. I recommend that you give and respect your partner's privacy just in the same way. There's a subtext of uh, of like him saying to his wife, "Don't fucking look at my internet history, you bitch. <laughs> stay out of my stay out of my my Google account." Um, sexual disorders, our <laughs> disorders. <laughs> what like? Like erectile dysfunction? Is that what that oh, means? Uh, our modern way of life, unfortunately, affects our sex life negatively. Our modern... Yeah, they were just at it during the fucking Renaissance period, weren't they? They were just... They didn't have any issues then because they didn't have fucking... They didn't have commercials. Mm-hmm. Our modern way... Our modern way of life affects us psychologically, which interferes with our sexual response cycle. Um, fuck, I mean, it's fucking yeah, re- like fucking the more with your mind. Rest you are, like, you're going to be less horny. Unless you're like in, affected, and then you're like wicked, wicked horny. Some people get. Yeah, but that's. I don't think that's changed. I think you know, the thing is, you've got to remember. It's like with pornography. In in terms of human existence, pornography has only existed for like a fucking less than naught point naught naught one percent of it. It's only like you know, it's only in recent times that it's actually. Yeah. So we didn't need. It. I mean, cavemen didn't. I mean, we managed to get to seven billion people from, just like, from none you know to like so without mo- without it for most of the time 
you know, you just like a your caveman probably just found two rocks and went, Oh, that looks like a that looks like a pair of knockers, doesn't it? That looks like a <laughs> Or they just drew it on the wall, you know, in in elephant shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm not looking up cavemen wanking in the. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's um, definitely not a fetish that I want to check out. Th- there are also varied diseases and health conditions that make it impossible for us to engage. Well, that's not true, mate. It doesn't make it impossible. It just makes it gross. But <laughs> that's all it does. It can make it difficult. Well, I mean, it depends. I mean, you go. There are actually. I mean, there are web forums you can find that where people that are for people who want to have sex, but they've got a sex a sexually transmitted disease, so they hook up with people who've got the same one. I mean, so, I guess that makes sense. Like that's that's safer than it's just... the free mar- It's the free market making. To see, you know, it's not look. It doesn't. It, it you know. Obviously, we would prefer people not to be sexually transmitted diseases, but at least they're being responsible. It's like that German yeah. cannibal. That German cannibal <laughs> didn't eat any old person. He went on the internet and found someone who wanted him to. Yeah. And and what yeah, happens? The, that guy, right? And what happens is it? What happens to him? He gets arrested and <laughs> See, we always, <laughs> we, we always, <laughs> we always, we always shoot the good guys, don't we? We always kill. You know, Gandhi, uh, Martin Luther King, Lincoln. And the cat, cat German cannibal. Uh, it's always the um, only the good die young. Um, oh God! <laughs> um, where where are we now? Uh, we, um, we've got we've gone through the excitement. I've gone through the fucking. Oh God! Fu- yeah, we've got to go through the cycle here. How long should sexual intercourse last? Right, this is where it's getting it. Okay, um, there are many books, manuals, and guides on how long or short sexual intercourse should be. But why would we need them? We've read this, Tom. We don't need to know anything else ever again. Forget about all of those. Forget about all. Fuck all them. Fuck <laughs> those books. In my personal view and experience, because that trumps books, doesn't it? Research. They are totally misleading. Some of some of them. Some of them went into said three minutes. Three minutes. I mean, are you mad? What am I? I am not a machine. I am a, looking at um, how long or short you engage. In, I know, I'm, when I say three minutes, I'm including the time it took to get the pizza and the bus home. Um, the um, how long or short you engage in sexual intercourse depends on you and your partner. No, it depends on him. That's really it. You know, it's, that's. Um, that's really all that counts there. How, what, why do I say so? Why do, I hate it when people do that. They ask themselves. When, you do a question. when they ask themselves a question, just fucking tell me. Right? Don't mm-hmm. fucking. Uh, uh, you know, it's, just, it's so fucking pretentious. Take the example of ladies who experience multiple orgasms, um, that should be in inverted commas, immediately after penetration. I'm <laughs> to take the example. What? What fucking immediately? What fantasy? Well, no, I I tell you what though. I there. Well, I mean, I I did, I That's I did wild. have a, I did have a a a a a brief but somewhat um, uh, intense relationship with a with a uh, with a woman who had hypersexuality and literally i mean it was like i mean she, she like and, and she i'll be like god like why she comes right away and like it's it, it's i apologize right she's not even said sorry once it's embarrassing <laughs> um but yeah so well, there you are women like who, keep going right yeah 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 i know it's um <laughs> anyway um but it's a principle is, is my point anyway um, <laughs> the, um take so the example sexist. of it oh my god so, such ladies do not have any problems. Any no problems. <laughs> they, these these women, they just need to they just need to see a penis shaped object and they <laughs> just on oh, the these women just there's also I, I want him to get onto gushers and squirters. Oh, That'd yeah. be, I, um, I wonder if he's on the the is it or isn't it p side. Well, I mean, it, well, I mean, let's face it, it's it's mo- it's mostly made up of the same stuff that p. Is like it's made up. I mean, p- piss is ninety eight percent water. You know, it's only that. Everything's mostly water. <laughs> yeah, but piss is like almost all. I mean, piss is. This is what right. I, I sort of. It's I use that. Water. I use that as an example when people go, "Oh, it's only." It's like with COVID. People say, "Oh, it's only two percent death rate." I'm like, "Yeah, but two percent is the difference between a, a glass of piss and a glass of water, mate." It's like that's the. Um, so what would you put? A, a, um, a haddock is only two percent different genetically to me and you so mm. clearly there's um not just a haddock you know just haddocks in general most of them but you know most um, things have mostly the same dna 
It, it is the way their bodies are biologically... I thought you said weird then. I said wired, sorry. Um, <laughs> you simply cannot force such a lady to continue engaging in sexual considering... In, in sexual... In, in, in sex, I think you meant. Not in sexual. Um, consider, we did a sexual last night. Um, considering that most often lack the energy to consider... Yeah, that's the problem. I'm, I can't stand women like that. It's wrong to... Because like, they're just tired, the poor thing. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Have you come seven times already in the first minute? Oh, you have a bit. You have a bit of a nap and lie down. I'll go. I'll go wank into a flannel on the sofa. Aww, like, no. um, poor thing. That sucks. <laughs> um, okay. Generally, quality sex lasts between twenty to sixty minutes. Right, but see, I would say that quality sex doesn't necessarily last any specific length of time. In fact, sometimes in fact, I've had some pretty unpleasant sexual experiences where I was just like going, when am I going to end? This is going, this is, this is doing my head in, right? I'm doing, so, you know, I'm getting bored. Like a marathon. It's not like a marathon. You just sort of, you're trying to sound, that's when men start like, that's when men start doing faking is the longer <laughs> it goes on. Because men are just like, you know, this is this is why men prefer sex from behind because they don't have to look interested. They can just sit there, do a Sudoku, <laughs> look around the room, you know. They can oh, go, I'll get that, I'll get that fucking cobweb later. You know, that sort of stuff. Pull a fucking like American psycho, start like put doing muscles at the No, window. not yeah, yeah, do yeah, something like that. Just anything <laughs> that anything that's just um you know, get his phone out, start, you know, make a list of stuff to do tomorrow. Anyway, generally Quality sex lasts between 20 and 60 minutes from the excitement phase to resolution. Some of the factors inform how long or short you engage in sexual intercourse, yeah, including your age and, and that of your partner, your health state, your health status and that of your partner and your regular diet, among other factors. So gasoline, triple strength, egg and sprout curry surprise tonight, love, will be like... Um, how regular you engage in sexual intercourse also matters. Generally, it depends whether you are married or not. <clears throat> it really doesn't. Right? Um, while those who are married engage in sexual intercourse between 10 to 15 times a month. Is that... That's that's nearly once every other day. Jesus, they don't... <laughs> God, they don't even stop for biscuits. They're just at it. <laughs> those, those living together but not married engage in sex between 15 to 20 times a month. Now, what does that tell you about marriage? Because uh, there's, there's seventy five, there's twenty five percent less fucking going on as soon as you get married. Um, this therefore informs the reason why younger, mature adults engage in sexual intercourse on almost a daily basis. <laughs> Fuck off, mate! Like when I, when that, when you know those sex surveys you get in like women's magazines and that, like, and it was, and it was yeah. how often, how often do you have sex? Right, there's never a box for me. I walk all the way down the page, <laughs> like. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but I'm lying for most of this fucking quiz, even though I'm the only one fucking <laughs> filling it in. Um, now, this next, this next, he the next uh, part of this book is probably going to be a little bit um, to catch you off guard. It's called fingering and fisting. Oh, <laughs> those go together. He's just going right for it. Hold on one second. I just need to. Uh, I, I need to grab. I, I've got a bag of popcorn. I'm hungry. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ah, here we go. <clears throat> Right. Okay. There are many activ there are many activities. They're not activities, mate. They're acts, you fucking <laughs> mate, you, He you broke hypocrite. his own rule. Ah, pwned. We've got we've got you, you fucking uh, you are owned. You are fake. owned, mate. Fake. <laughs> fucking fucking wanker. No. He's um, over. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're the ones fucking you in your fucking labia menorah now, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Suck on my van's difference. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so hard. Um, you can <laughs> what the scrotum? What the van's difference or the scrotum? Um, in there, man. That's that's that's, that's the um. um I, it's a it's a it's a it's a, meta, it's a metaphorical. Yeah. One. It's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're for being so literal. <laughs> yeah. Um. The <laughs> your sex. Your sexual life as partners is not limited to sexual intercourse. Fingering and fisting is that's a hell of a leap he's made there. Yeah. Um, are, are, are some of the sexual activities you can engage in. You can comfortably engage in fingering on, on your own as a woman. 
Right? <laughs> yeah, but the problem is I'm not a woman, mate, so I can't engage <laughs> you. Um, your sexual partner does not need to be around. <laughs> I need, I need, I need you to sit here. I need it notarized. I need you to fucking. <laughs> you just have to sit and wait till I'm done. Actually, you simply insert several fingers in your vagina for the pleasurable experience. Just this start is, that's with a... several. Just stick all. Just start with several. <laughs> just start with several. Just start know. sticking them in. <laughs> And remember, please remember, if you use several fingers, make sure you use several fingers from the same hand. Don't use two. Don't get, don't, don't don't use both your index fingers. Just try to yeah. see how many I can do. Man. Yeah. Um. Anyway, um. On the, and he then says, on the other hand, <laughs> on the other hand, on, on the other hand, on the other hand, fisting, and I'm like, you know what? So he's bet- got. One hand fingering in the other. And do you know what? Do you know what the thing is? I guarantee you, he did not fucking. He does not oh, still yeah. realize that no, he wrote he that. No, he didn't do that one on purpose. <laughs> Fisting involves pushing your hand into your vagina for the same experience. It's although same. you, yeah, although you can comfortably engage in fingering and fisting on your own, I recommend that you let your male partner do it. This is this is because of the, he's got chunkier fingers for a start, yeah, probably bigger, um, yeah. bigger hands. Yeah. Um, this is and this is because of the ability to be in a fingering and or fisting position to enjoy the most the fisting position. <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> engage fist. Position. Engage fingering. Yeah, get in the fingering position, though. <laughs> Both fingering and fisting are forms of masturbate <coughs> masturbation. <coughs> masturbate. <laughs> Master, <laughs> Master, Blah. yeah. Man. Speaking of that little dangly thing in the back of your throat, that was um, yeah. that was, that, um we brought it whole full circle, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will therefore. <laughs> he does it again. He's done it again. I, <laughs> I, I will therefore not touch on masturbation. <laughs> He is good. I mean, I, he is good. He doesn't even. I'm not good. I, I'm not good. On the other hand, on my on the other hand, I'm not gonna. How I'm not gonna touch him. Does he have? I I'm not gonna touch. He's like a. He's a, yeah. He's, <laughs> I'm not gonna touch on masturbation because you know, you I don't want to get save that hand because I don't want has to. Okay. I don't want to get shafted on this one. So <laughs> I'm just gonna. I don't want to unload too information, too much information on you. So. <laughs> on the other hand, on the other hand, I will not touch on masturbation. <laughs> um, the use, the use of artificial device, artificial devices that I do not recommend. That are I do not, not recommend. Are they not <laughs> actually devices? <laughs> He said, the thing is, he says, he says, I don't recommend them. I'm like, have like, so that must he logically mean, them, right? yes. <laughs> He's like, nah, zero out of ten. I don't like my aim, those. The reason for this is that my aim is for you to have a <gasps> fulfilling, refreshing, rewarding, and healthy straight sex life so, without the use without the use of any sex aid. Why right. is that healthy? What's the bad I don't, part? Because they're abnormal. They're against God and nature. And, you know, if God wanted God women... Gave if God gave us hands wanted, so if that God we wanted, could build dildos. If, if God wanted women We've to use... we art- doing it the whole time. If God, if God wanted women to have artificial penises, he'd have given you one of your own. Right? This is... They find ancient ones made out of, like... Doesn't make it right. Bones and shit. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it right, does it? They bones. used to fucking... Ancient people used to do lots of things. Like not that we don't do anymore. They used, to shit out, they used to shit out doors. They they fucking you know they they, they used lived to in throw caves. Shit out the window. Those fuckers. They used to exactly. They used to live in caves. They did lots of things. We don't do that anymore. Um, where were we? Uh, um, <laughs> sex poses, not sexual <laughs> poses. That's why does he keep using the almost the right word. 
Hmm. But then in the first sentence he says, these are sexual positions. Exactly. No, sorry, sorry, I misread that. He actually wrote, these are sex the positions. <laughs> sex the positions. Sex the positions. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Sex the position. Please welcome your headline act, a wonderful band, Sex and the Positions. <laughs> <laughs> See, glad that makes not, sense. Glad it's night in the pimps and and, and sex and the positions. Um, sex I, and I really, the pistols. Yes, I really do not intend to mention which sex positions are best. But I don't, I don't even. I'm not going to tell you which one. But my missus loves the wheelbarrow. She just doesn't <laughs> like it. When I push her past the neighbours. Um, because he only knows, like, two. Yeah, and one of them's conscious. Um, he knows four if he opens his eyes for them. Um, <laughs> I am simply out to point out... I'm out to point out... You're out, are you? Okay. He's um, out. To, to uh, out, to po- out. To point out the need to know and master a few sexual positions to spice up... You say, so power of the world, spice up your life. Yeah. Um, um, the oh, passion, yeah. so the passion associated. I'll give him a zig with, zig ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, what do you think this geezer's favourite spice girl is? It's definitely scary. Are you... Really, she's my favourite. <laughs> oh. I, I reckon. I yeah. thought his favourite would be baby. He he says he loves baby. He likes baby spice, but because she's like. Innocent and blonde and white, yeah, but he wants he, wa- he wants scary because you know she's a raging slapper. Who's gonna? <laughs> she's they all, dude. Uh, I think there was a whole thing that came out that like scary and um, what was the redhead one's name? G- Ginger Jerry Halliwell. Duh, I'm stupid. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They who was the like... red? Who was the ginger spice girl? Called? <laughs> what were those things called in Gremlins? That one thing uh, I know <laughs> about her. <laughs> Does anyone, do, do you know what time the nine thirty bus arrives? I'm just trying... <laughs> Tell me the number to a nine one one, please. Yes. <laughs> what were you going to no, say uh, about Ginger's? They boxes? had they had like a relationship, and I think that's the hottest shit ever, dude. <laughs> mm. Hell yeah! You know that so many men have. have They're the best that, huh? Spice Girls, in my opinion. Now, <laughs> they're my favorite. They, they, the, the amount of men who've searched that like, on a. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, she did, she did do like nude. She didn't do porn when she was younger, Jerry Halliwell, but she did like pose for nude photos gotcha. and stuff like that. Like I had the poster on me. She wall. was a model. Uh, mm. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, it is very important that you Sex preserve. Poses. Yeah, it is very important that you preserve and continue creating interest in your sex life. You need to give your sexual partner a reason to continue engaging in sex with you. <laughs> you got twenty quid. No, okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll wash. I'll, I'll clean the toilet. Um, this I'll that wash is my why. Face and I come, I did. I've got three p in real money. Um, you do. This is what. That is why you do not need to stick to one sex position. Ah, say, love. You say you don't want to have sex, but tonight I want us to do the standing sixty nine. <laughs> I've been at the gym all week, and uh, I'd prefer it if you didn't have too heavy a dinner. Um, <laughs> I thought we might go reverse cowgirl. What's that? Well. <laughs> How do you feel it's about a, it, doing a ton of work for me? Yeah. How would you feel about having a sex position that looks great on film, but is completely and utterly, like, hot, you know, fucking, you know, just ridiculously <laughs> stupid to do in real life? And uh, every time you engage in sexual intercourse... Oh, sorry, uh, that was the end of the last sentence. There is really no single sex position that can be said to be the best. Um, the best sex position is that which suits you and your sexual... Oh, stop sitting on a fucking fence, mate, and say it. Go on. Say it. You know, the uh, the, the the rusty pirate, that's still <laughs> favorite one. The, the dirty Sanchez is the one. Oh, God. The alligator fuckhouse is the... Uh, <laughs> it's not I about... I feel like you're the, making some of them up. No. The... the, the, um, the, the, the Fucking the Mex the, the the Mexican chili dog and the Cincinnati bow tie and the uh, Gandalf staff and Gorky zygotic monkey. Um, the, my advice is very simple: learn your sexual partner. That's that's the sentence. Right? Learn your sexual partner. Uh, <coughs> you know what the worrying thing is? 
This is still the best written thing that we've read so far <laughs> off this website. Understand what positions and sex moves he sex moves. Working <laughs> on the sex moves. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's the, the sex moves. It's a, that's the support act for sex and the positions. Right. It's the sex. It's the sex moves. Um, identify that's which bit crew. I love this. Identify which sex positions and sex moves drive him or her to experience orgasm. What do you mean identify? You go like, oh, she's enjoying it. What well, fuck? What's this one called? Oh, what? <laughs> right, so, right, so her legs over here. I'm hanging out the window. Um, the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, God, we're nearly there. Don't worry, we're nearly at the end. Um, this, this is ch chapter six, the final chapter. Sex foods. <laughs> During or before? Have, have you ever or microwaved? After? Have you ever put a hole in a melon and microwaved? It? Well, um, what is this American pie? What's happening? Sex foods. Uh, these these are Very the kind of sex foods. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you... Is that the only show? Is that your that's your attack helicopter? That I know. You just, I uh, back apply it to it. Back. I promise not to do it next time. Maybe. These, <laughs> no, it's your thing. It's your thing now. That's it. It's it. You know, it's well, everyone knows. Every time I do it, I think of night cheese from Always Sunny. So yeah. <laughs> these these are the kind of foods that have been proven to increase human sex drive. AKA libido, libido being the Mexican brother of labia minora. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I simply refer to them as sex foods. Right. Okay. So, so don't look for them in the supermarket. Where's the sex food aisle? And um, you simply cannot ignore the link that exists between your regular diet and your sex drive. Is that. <laughs> There was the time I was hoovering the curtains in the nude and fell backwards onto my shopping and had to go to the, <laughs> had to go to the top doctors to have a potato removed from my ass. Oh, no. And they didn't they they I, to this day I don't know why it was in a condom but it was still anyway. Uh, whether you are whether, whether you are a man or a woman and let's face it you know, there's at least one of those here, including the following foods in your regular diet, therefore improves libido. Leafy green vegetables. <laughs> like, as opposed to what other green vegetables. Like Don't tell the Jordan Peterson fans. Mm. Oh, yeah, die. you know. Oh, Jordan Peterson, he hasn't had an erection since the Reagan administration, the amount of meat <laughs> he fucking... And that was um, the reason he had it. Mm. <laughs> the, Ber the Berlin the Berlin Wall fell down, and so did he. And um, sp spinach is very rich in magnesium, the mineral that that assists in the dilation of blood vessels. Spinach. That's why Popeye was always fucking. You know, got. You know, that's why he always gave like, him some really weird shaped arms. Yeah, well, that's because the blood. He probably had like vascular issues because, like, yeah. He <laughs> Who's who's got big enough forearms that your biceps look tiny? Like, Imagine him fucking sit, getting in the fisting position. You wouldn't want him to fuck around. He not, mostly not, looks what? like he could block. Imagine imagine him fisting you before he eat, then he oh, eats God. the spinach. Oh no! It's like it's like that thing. It's like well, it's like the whole sort of thing about the um in Black Widow and Hulk in the Avengers, sort of like having a thing. It's like can you imagine if he transforms oh, if he gets pissed off halfway through and just like um. And she's just like, oh god! <laughs> oh, and he's he's green as well. Actually, but saying that, it's no good if he does that because for some reason Bruce Banner's got these amazing trousers that mm. all of his clothes rip off. Yeah. Apart, but he's he's got these amazing Magic like, purple he, shorts. He must have like these like super. He must have like a bungee cord in sweatpants. Yeah. That just stay in one. You know. That's what I always say. I'm like, how does he always manage? And I wouldn't to mind. Have the right and I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't coat. mind as. And I wouldn't mind as much. But the bottom of his trousers rip. And they're the they're, they're the fucking they're the loot they're the baggiest part. His of hips your trousers. Stay the same size. The his whole hips. Time. Yeah. He's not wearing. It's like he's wearing they're like drain. They're entirely made of spandex. He's wearing drain pipes or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, fatty fish. Um, that's not a position. That's a food. He's going for here. <laughs> the fatty fish. <laughs> the, um, Doing a fatty uh, fish tonight. Eating fatty fish. Oh, I bet you have. Mate. I bet you're eating some fatty fish. Ew. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I'm starting to think that he's fucking with us now. I'm starting to suspect he might. No, have you ever licked the fatty fish? No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, I love salmon. Oh yeah, who's been licking the fatty fish? <laughs> I love a good uh, beer battered fish. I love a good. I love, I love a good. I love a fatty fish that's been battered. <laughs> beer battered, especially. Oh God. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I mean, well, I mean, one of the names, one of the slang terms for uh for for spunk is you know baby batter oh god so i could baby i could baby battered. batty i could be baby batty of a fatty oh, fish no. I'll beer and then eating it fish, and then, yeah but if you eat the if you if you baby batter the fatty fish then eat it it becomes a cream pie that's oh. the uh there's a riddle for you how does yeah. a fatty fish how does a fatty fish there's become a, a cream pie <laughs> that's whew. An entirely um, different food group. That's magic. That's a different. Ep- that's a different fucking type of Batman film um, that we're thinking. Of. High, high levels of dopamine in your brain is important because it makes it possible for you to get aroused much faster when you need to engage in sexual intercourse. Furthermore, the fatty acids help um, help p- p- fight against blood clots and against dementia, which are both two things that you really worry about during sex, isn't you? I hope I don't get dementia during this, so she'll forget that she's come and I'll have to do it again. <laughs> um, and that would suck. I heard, I heard a thing that apparently some octopus, like, after it mates, it develops dementia and just, just wanders around not knowing anything. So it's like a man, then. <laughs> um, it's an octopus as well. I mean, they look like scro- they're a bit. They've got a bit. They're a bit scroty, aren't they? they must he's be really an octopus, thick. Octopus. He's a man. I, they, I tell you what. They, I tell you what. They can do the fisting and finger. The octopuses, don't they? They can do the fisting and fingering. Bit they don't have talking, fists uh, or fingers. Exactly. They got they got eight tentacles. And if Japanese animation has taught they us anything, it's the tentacling. Yeah, exactly. They'll they give you ten tickles, ten whole tickles. He then got uh, uh, ripe bananas. <laughs> because banana, it can, banana. because ripe bananas contain bromelain, which sounds like a sort of Bro. like edge, which sounds like something. I was about to say, it sounds like something you take. Bromelain. Like, it, it turns you into a frat boy. Bro, it. It, uh, um, sweet potatoes, which are rich in potassium. Sweet potatoes, um, sweet potato. And it helps improve fertility. In which sweet potatoes improves fertility, apparently. And okay, ripe and ripe avocado. Um, <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't it, it, eat it if it's not ripe. That's disgusting. Uh, it, it contains vitamin B six, very good for increasing a production of testosterone in men. Which says, which you should, if that's true, right? Then that that sort of fries in the face of those people who make fun of millennials, all those fucking great eat avocados. Yeah. Uh, these are the top six foods, sex foods, right? Top six sex foods, right? Yeah. And, you know, I mean, who hasn't got? A top six sex foods. We've got my in mine's birth bourguignon, um, <coughs> toast, um, beef stroganoff. Um, the, um, That's a good one. It is, it is my belief that your straight sex life will never be the same if you stick to what I have laid out. In, if you stick to what I've laid out in this book, I want to encourage you to start in air quotes reading your sexual <laughs> partner. To know and understand them better, I particularly want to encourage you to discover your sexual partner's sexual configuration. Doing so will help you know how to satisfy her sexually, not him sexually, her him or them. It's just just her at the end. Right. Do do have so do have a fulfilling, refreshing, rewarding, and healthy straight sex life, just how it's supposed to be. Thank you for reading my ebook. If you enjoyed it, won't you please take a moment to leave me a review at oh. your favorite at your favorite retailer? Okay, okay mate, I'm just, a retailer. Well, that is optimism. I'm just gonna go to like and Target then, and be like, "Have uh, you heard this fucking guy?" He then re- he then puts at the end, "Thanks, for, thanks." Uh, who puts that at the end of a book? <laughs> thanks. <laughs> he already thanked well, me. Amen. Well. F- well, folks, that is, and he's give, he's got actually he's got a um he's got a link here. You can find him. You, you can find him on Twitter. I'm Tell him check. what you think. Just, let me let me let me look up his um his Twitter account. It's not if it's not the worst one. It's just like this is for straight people. Oh, straight here he is. Land. 
Here he is. Uh, his Twitter account. Oh, he's got uh, 245 followers. Ooh. And I, 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 okay, I don't know why. I, I assumed, I had in my head, this was going to be, this is us again getting, getting found out. I'm glad I did this. Um, this guy is, um, he, he's, he's, he's black and from Kenya. And he describes himself as a startup Kenyan organic farmerpreneur, a mentor, and a social media marketer. There is one slight weird thing, and that is that he's got 245 Twitter followers. He joined Twitter in 2011, and he has posted no tweets. None whatsoever. Totally so there real. You- Favorite me on Smashwords. Yeah, that, that's this is this book being on a site called Smashwords. Damn. <laughs> Hit smash or pass. Well, that one smack. Well, folks, that well, I don't know about, I don't know about you, Danny, but I thought that was um, that was something. Hey, um, at least it wasn't full of lies. No, it wasn't. I mean, it you wasn't know? full of anything. There's not <laughs> much we can take. Not a ton from that. From that, apart from apart from you know. Um, Apart from sex moves and everything else, yeah. apart from that. Working on the anyway. sex moves. So thank you very much for listening, folks. Um, and we'll see you uh, we'll see you at the next one. I'm Dick Coughlin. This is Danny. That's me. And say goodbye. Oh my god, bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs>